there was this meeting with some other math friends of mine, and I was showing them ChatGPT when it first came out. And then one of the friends said, explain, can you get it to explain some inequality or prove some inequality? And then it did, and then it explained it step by step. Then he, then everyone just had their hand over their mouth, like, are you oh, serious? Really? Can you do this? And then they're like, then one said, one friend said, this is like speaking to God. And then <laughs> another friend said, had the thought, like, what am I even doing? What, what's the point of even working if this can just do my job for me? So did you ever get that sense? Like, yes, we're excited about the future and it as an assistant, but did you ever feel any sense of dread? Um, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm by nature a very optimistic person, so I, I think it was just awe and excitement. You had always, I've, I think, I don't think I've ever f- felt that I was threatened or the community is being threatened. I could totally be wrong, but so far I just think it's like this is such an awesome thing because it'll save me so much time looking up references and and stuff like this. I can, you know, um, yeah, I, I, I was happy. I was just like, wow, this is kind of cool. I mean. I, I guess if I were an educator, I might get a bit of a dread because there's like, you know, you know, undergraduate degrees, which will, you know, if you do an undergraduate degree, it's just basically one chat GPT being fed to another. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of my colleagues started setting questions in exams with chat GPT with fully latched out equation. I mean, this is becoming the standard thing to do. I guess even if you're an educator, you would probably worry. But um, I was thinking about just long-term discovery of, you know, what what new knowledge can we dis- can we can we generate? Okay.